Hello everyone and happy Valentine's Day. Now I've been meaning to do this all week but I just wanted to show you my lovely Valentine's Day presents and I hope you're all in the mood for love because today I'm going to show you the Natasha Denona Valentine's Day palette and another cheek product that she bought out at the same time which I've just gone and put down and lost. I'll be right back. Here it is. Now this one's not called the Valentine's Day palette, but it's called the Mini Cream Blush and Highlighter Rose Cheek Duo. So I thought I would do a quick comparison with last year's Love palette, which came out, you can see. She also had a lip product, if you remember, um, which I may put on with this look if I can find it. I think I know where it is, but I'm going to do a swatch comparison of these two palettes because you might think they look quite similar, which I suppose they're a similar kind of colour story, but not completely the same. And then last year she bought out a full size cheek palette with this lovely front on it, as you can see, whereas this year it's a mini palette. But the same kind of thing, it is a um, cream and powder. So we'll do some comparisons and then let's get going with this look. Okay, I've moved the camera slightly because I'm really late filming this video and uh, the lighting is not brilliant in here. So, so that you can see both sides of my face, I've turned the camera. So this is this year's palette and you also get a free brush. Now, I think this is on sale now because Valentine's Day is nearly over. Um, so um, do have a look on Cult Beauty, which is where I got mine. I've got a molting brush on my face, which is annoying me. Anyway, so the brush is actually quite good. I have actually tried this out. Um, I'm going to swatch these and then I'll swatch last year's and we'll get on and do a look, okay? Um, but very good brush, actually. Very handy one as well. Very good blending brush. Not just a kind of afterthought that they threw in just to fill it out, you know. Very good brush. Now, here is this year's palette. As you can see, I do love my purples. Now, again, again there's an absence. I think this was the case last year, but I can't remember now. We'll have to... Oh, no, maybe not. But there's an absence of a highlighting shade, but you do get the highlighter in the cheek palette. So I'm, I'm just going to swatch these for you. So you've got three matte shades in the middle and then you've got these two shimmers at each end. This one here is a bright pink. It's quite glittery. You know, it's got quite chunky glitter particles in it. This one's a little bit finer glitter particles but it's darker, obviously, but a bit more of a sultry look. So let me just swatch these for you on my arm. So let me do the glittery one first. It's a real candy pink. You see that? And you can see the glitter particles. Very shimmery indeed. And then we have this lighter shade which is a really good kind of base color it's a kind of dusky pink matte very pretty on the eyes even just a wash of that over your eyes and nothing else looks really pretty then we have the darkest of the matte shades which is a lovely purple and you know i like my purples it's a sort of almost black and purple, but with plenty of pink in it. Let me just swipe this top bit. And then we have a medium matte shade, which is a kind of a lovely rose shade, actually. And again, I keep swatching it the wrong way for you to you guys to see it on the camera there we go lovely rose shade and then finally we have this 
shimmery but less glittery shade at the end but it is dark and it's a very kind of heart like sort of like a red heart really very very pretty now i'm going to take a picture of all of those and i'll be right back and we'll swatch last year's for comparison Okay, so let's, let's do last year's and see if I can fit them in on this arm. So we have, again, well, actually last year we had two, three shimmer shades and two matte shades. So, um, and also there was a highlighter shade in last year's one. So let me just um, do those. Similar colour story, as I said, but not quite the same. So we have... A little bit more of a muted duochrome pink from last year. Can you see that? So that's the first one. Don't worry, the pictures are coming up shortly. Then we have a matte kind of lilac-y shade, which I do love these shades, I have to admit. A very cooled tone, toned pink, almost lilac. And then we have a very dark matte shade, which is definitely more blackened, I think, than yeah, this this year's. A lot more cool toned and blackened than the purple in this year's palette. Sorry, I'm running out of arm space. Then we have a highlighting shade. So I'm just finding a clean finger here, which is an, a nice cream, kind of pinky cream highlighter shade, which is there. And I've just about got enough room on my arm to do the last one, which is similar-ish. It's a kind of medium, it's almost like the, the matte rose from this year's, but a shimmer version of it. And let's see if I can show you that. Oh, there we are. So it's a shimmery version of it. So you can see they're all kind of a similar story, but they're nevertheless different enough for you to justify getting this year's palette as well. And I'm gonna put the picture of both of these here now. Okay, so before we get on with the look, let's compare the cheap palettes. Now, as I said, last year's was a kind of special edition love palette in this really pretty packaging, and it's a full-size palette. So, I'll just show you what that looks like. Now, this had a beautiful duochrome heart shape kind of highlighter. Really, really pretty. And then we had... The kind of pinky, almost peachy blush. Okay, now if I hold that up against, let me get the other one. Now this one is a mini this year. A lot more basic, not gone to town on the packaging. But I actually really like the colours. I think they're really pretty because you don't really, for a romantic look, you don't want to look heavily made up. You just want to look like you've got pretty cheeks. And I think this one will last you well beyond Valentine's Day because it, it's just a really pretty look. Now, let me just swatch you this one first, the new one. So we've got the cream blush on this side. And I'm going to have to use this arm this time. 
so very pinky peachy so it will go with any look and then we have the powder highlighter which again just looks really pretty on the face you'll see that when i put it on it's it's just it's not again won't you won't see someone from mars and jupiter but it just makes you look naturally glowy which is what you want really isn't it you want that love glow that just looks like naturally lit up from within not i can see you from mars and are you what highlighter are you wearing okay and then last year's one just for comparison before i go and blow my nose again because my eyes have been streaming yet again today so last year's one now this one was more it's a little bit peachy but more pink than peach so i'm just going to put that one under here you can see it's a lot more pink pink in comparison and then the highlighter is a kind of pinky gold duochrome which is absolutely gorgeous and i do love this highlighter i have to say i love colors like this there's a very similar colour in one of Pat McGrath's um, eyeshadows that I adore. It's got that glorious pink and gold fleck to it, which is very pretty, but perhaps not as subtle. Okay, so I'm going to take a photo of these and then let's get on and put my makeup on. Okay, now let's get on with this look. You'll see that I've already put my base products on and I will put all the details of that in the description below. Although I've rubbed some of it off from around my nose through blowing my nose, but we'll correct that before the final photo. So let's get on. I'm going to go in with this, this shade here because as I said to you earlier, it just makes a beautiful wash of colour that even on its own, if you're just wanting a nice wash of colour to go out in the daytime, it just looks really pretty. You know, and everyone's getting back into matte eyes these days. So, you know, nothing wrong with doing an all over matte wash of colour. Ugh. Malting brushes. Anyway, so can you see that? It's very, very pretty. But however, I am going to build it up and I'm going to put this lovely rose pink and I'm going to just blend that into my socket. Again, I think just looking really classically pretty. Excuse me a minute. I'm just going to go and find this hair that's tickling my face. Okay, I think I've caught it. But it will no doubt come back and haunt me. So now I'm just going to take this one here and just in the corner to get some shadow on that hood, I'm just going to dig in. Similar formula to what I normally do for my shape eye because it works. And if you find a formula of applying your eyeshadow that works for your eye shape, then why not stick to it? And I just take a tiny bit underneath. 
and you can see I'm using the same brush although you might want to use a smudge brush for this part but actually this is a really lovely soft brush and then because fingers always work better I'm going to take just so that you can see both of these I'm going to take this pink one first and I'm going to put that in the outer to middle part of my lid as you can see very very reflective and it, even more so if you wet it if you wanted a really metallic look and these shimmer shades are always better putting it on with your fingers anyway And then I'm going to take this one here at the end. I might normally keep it at that, but I'm going to take this one so that you can see all the shades in the palette. And it is very pretty. And I'm going to put this on the outer corner. Look at that. Lovely red metallic. And then blend them together. So it really doesn't need to be that tricky a look. And these are really pigmented, so you won't have to take ages to get a good colour payoff. Pretty, hey? I will take a smudge brush and I'll take a bit of that red. Not too much of it, but a little bit, because I don't want it to make me look tired but a little bit of that red on the outer corner, the shimmery red. And then I'm going to move over to my cheek palette before I do my eyeliner and um, mascara. And I'm going to move over to the cheek palette and I'm going to just take the highlighter to highlight under my brow with my smudge brush. And here comes Jack. Hello, Jack. Hello. He's full of cold. <coughs> right, so there is the highlighter shade from the cheek palette. And this is beautiful as a highlighter. And then just take a little bit and put it in that inner corner there. Just to brighten up. That. Right, I'm going to put my eyeliner on and mascara and I'll be right back in a minute. Right, I'm back. Now I use this eyeliner today, which is my La Roche Posay and it's called Respectism Respectism and it's an allergy um eyeliner very good if you've got watery eyes it goes on very quickly it's very wet but it dries down quickly so if your eyes are watering it doesn't start running and it just doesn't irritate your eyes it's very very good it's the one I pull out of my bag where my eyes are really sensitive as they are today, as you can see by my Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which I will correct shortly. But let's get on this cheek product and then I will put some lips on and we're done. So I'm just going to apply the cream blush with my fingers. And this is a really pretty cream blush. I can see myself using this a lot it it reminds me a lot of ecstasy in terms of the shade uh, charlotte tilbury's ecstasy because there's a good mixture of pink and peach so it will go with any look and it looks very natural because if you think about it even when your cheeks are pink they're not completely pink because you've got skin there they look pinky peach. It's a very natural colour to have. 
and I love that colour, really love it. And then we've got the highlighter. So I shall get my little highlighting brush from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I do love this, it's such a lovely, and it goes, I like to overlap it a little bit with the blush because the blush is cream. So it will stick to that cream blush and it will look really, really yummy and beautiful. Look at that. That beautiful light as you just turn, turn your face. I'll put a little bit down the center of my nose. It might hide the redness going on at the bottom. I'm probably catching Jack's cold. And then I'm going to dig out the lipstick that I got last year with Natasha Denona's set. And I'll be right back. Okay, quick touch up with Charlotte's beautiful skin foundation around my nose. And now this is the lip duo that came out with last year's Natasha Denona. She didn't bring out anything as far as I'm aware, unless I missed it this year. Um, but last year she did. And this was a lip liner and the lip liner is called, what's it called? Iona. And it's actually, although she bought it out with the set, she, um, it, this is available all throughout the year. I just need to sharpen it up. Okay, so I'll just show you what that looks like. I think there's two camps, isn't there? for Valentine's Day. People that like to wear a kind of nude, kind of um, natural lip and others that like to wear a red lip. I quite, you know me, I always love an excuse to wear a red lip, but I know that if I'm wearing a red lip, and I'm sure I said this last year, that my other half wouldn't go near me with a barge pole because he doesn't want to get red lipstick all over himself. So, that's the advantage of wearing something that looks a little bit more natural. Now, this is the lipstick and this is called Amorosa. So, that is that one. Now, I'm going to do a photograph and I'm going to come back. Because the other thing, if you're in the Brighter Lip Brigade, and my other half has gone away this evening, so it doesn't matter what I wear. <laughs> but if you're in the other brigade that you want to wear something brighter, I do think there's another lipstick that would go perfectly with this. So I'm going to take a picture and take this off and I'll try a different lip. Okay, and this is the other choice. I know which one I prefer. You know which one I prefer. This is Raspberry Charm by Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of the new colours. It's one of my favourite, all-time favourite colours. Um, it's very much like the MAC ones that I love. It's a very pinky red. I love pinky reds and I love reds. And this, I think, goes perfectly with the look as well. But let me know which one you prefer, not just on me, but are you going to be going for a subtle lip today? Did you go for a subtle lip today? Or do you like to wear a brighter red on Valentine's Day? And don't forget, if you're single, you're still part of the conversation because this is about loving ourselves, not necessarily about partners giving us chocolates. Okay, so do let me know. And thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you all very soon. I've got some other interesting new products which I will be doing very shortly. Take care. Love you all. Happy Valentine's Day. Mwah.